Now yeah, then, everyone, uh, we're having a go. Alan's off mowing. I'm just mucking the rest of the silage clamp by now to get rid of some nasty silo. It's left from a couple of years ago, then I can uh, bury it with some nice fresh stuff. So, uh, but yeah, we're off for mowing. I don't think we're going to get all the silaging done yet. Some of it's not just quite ready, but we've some that's uh, well ready. So, uh, we've got about 40, 40 an acre to have a look at. So, yeah, we'll try and get that picked up uh, probably tomorrow and Saturday. All being well, so we'll see how we get on. My job now at the moment is just uh, somewhere there, there we go. Take that top roller mould off basically. Just comes from uh, age and then sheet having a couple of holes in it maybe, it's an old sheet. So we'll, uh, we'll get that taken off and get it chucked in mid in. Uh, we're going to try and pull some of this down because that at the top will be third cut and the bottom's first cut. So. Try and pull the third cut down and just put it along the walls down the side, then we can bury it with the fresh stuff. So, uh, that's the job. Gonna watch it don't fall out now, see as we're missing the door. Haven't replaced it yet. That'll come soon enough. So, just try and take as little as possible of the uh, good stuff. Watch you not hit the wall at the back. Any bits that are left I can get with fork after. Easy as that. So I've pulled most of the top stuff down now. That at the bottom's all right, and go over the top of that with new grass. So I've just laid it all out on the floor here, and I'll all get buried with new silo. So uh, I'll go now and get me grass for cows, and then I have to get me dinner because uh, I have to take over mowing while Alan has his dinner. So uh, try and keep the tractor running. So that's next job. First time I'm gonna go wash my hands before I do anything else. It stink. So that's today's load of grass, and uh, look who stood there waiting. It's the Jerseys. They're never far away, and if you leave a gate open, they're out of it. They're always up to mischief. Character. That's what you're supposed to call it, I think. But, uh, just like causing trouble. You can see it in their eyes. Yeah, leave the grass there now. We'll back that in after milking. Well, when we're milking, we'll chuck the cows down into the collecting yard. Then we just back the grass through the building door here. Now, because we're going to be feeding the silo, we're going to be filling the silo clamp so we don't feed in there now in summer. So, we'll just queue up for our spiral feeders as well. All right, Daffodil. Hey. Eh? Taking over from Alan, he's gone back for his dinner. There's a fair crop of grass on this field. That's the best crop we've ever seen on this field. And tractoring gets too much for people. Staff these days can't hack it. I haven't turned the tractor off, Joe. It's come with a hydraulic oil pressure warning. As we are mid mowing and it's just decided to stop. So, great new tractor. What's it done? A couple of hundred hours, if that. Awesome.
that's ad boy that well, don't worry but i think i might have found the issue i've just looked back behind us and all, oh what's that we've got an oil filter falling off so that is not an ideal start to mowing and uh, there goes alan back to the yard of the tether because he forgot to fill up with diesel before he set off and the tractor's no diesel in it. So, we're not having a good start. And it would appear it's snapped off the housing that it screws into. So, neat mirror. And that's fairly wary, that's burning my fingers now. So we're going to have to go and get the telly handler, and then we're going to come back, lift the mower off, drag this out of the way, and then hook it to other tractor. And hopefully we can carry on. Yeah. 